This is The Top, where I interview entrepreneurs who are number one or number two in their industry in terms of revenue or customer base. You'll learn how much revenue they're making, what their marketing funnel looks like, and how many customers they have. I'm now at $20,000 per talk. Five and six million. He is hell-bent on global domination. We just broke our 100,000 unit soul mark. And I'm your host, Nathan Latka. I just finished traveling Southeast Asia for 41 days, and I usually always get sick when I travel, and quite frankly, eating is difficult for me. It's hard to find a restaurant, and I'm spoiled in Austin with my personal chef. Well, I took these little packets with me this time, 30 of them, in my carry-on suitcase. They kept me totally healthy with 11 different secret ingredients. You can see them at NathanLacka.com forward slash juice. I'll tell you more later on in the show. That's NathanLacka.com forward slash juice. Folks, many of you reach out to me and you say, Nathan, so many guests on your show talk about the importance of batching. But whenever I try and batch, you tell me this. You go, Nathan, they don't book back-to-back -back times. So you, or they don't show up after they book. It's frustrating. The answer is, guys, you have to use smart tools. I use a tool called Acuity Scheduling at NathanLatka.com forward slash schedule. I'll tell you specifically how I use it later on in the episode. This episode 633, you're in for a treat today, guys. You've got Alessio joining us with Pipify. They just launched brand new, perfect for you guys listening who are thinking about launching a company they've hit 50 grand in monthly recurring revenue 2.6 million dollars raised helping 400 customers customers organize their processes and you want to stay tuned tomorrow morning as well we have david on he has a lice killing brush that's right a lice killing brush and he's done 2.2 million dollars in pre-sales it's going to retail for 20 bucks and it kills lice with no chemicals Good morning, everybody. Nathan Latke here. Our guest this morning is Alessio Alianzo, and he is the founder and CEO of Pipeify, which is part of 500 Startups. He's a passionate product manager. Alessio, are you ready to take us to the top? Yeah. Okay, good. So start us off. Tell us what Pipeify does and what's your business model? How do you make money? Yeah, so basically, we are a workflow collaboration software, really easy and intuitive to use. And basically, I had an idea in my previous company. I had a local marketplace for local services uh, in Brazil before. And we've been scaling up. We've adding a lot of people. And in the end, uh, I've, I've been using a kind of patchwork to manage the business, using a CRM for sales, Jira for self-development, task management for tests and everything. And we have dozens of processes where different teams needed to collaborate. And we need some type of guidance to guarantee that every process done inside the company need to be step by step guided. And so is this like, I mean, it, uh, from your website, it looks like there's a lot of systems and stuff. Is this like a Zapier? No, no. Zapier is more about automation. Like if something happens, then do this. Yep. And we coordinate people work. Like imagine in, even like in whatever business, when you are onboarding a new customer, the first thing you need to get the information about his business, then someone on the financial department needs to create a contract, then needs to send to the sales guys to sign the contract, sure. then you need to pass for your customer success team. This type of process is where you need to guide the execution of your team, guarantee that everyone inside the business will follow exactly the same steps, that's exactly the type of problem we solve. So we are more a kind of people coordination solution than uh, an, a Zapier or IFTTT, you know? Okay, got it. That makes sense. And what's your business model? How do you make money? Uh, we charge per user per month. So it's a SaaS and, business. Yeah, it's exactly. Okay. And what's the, what's the average customer paying you per month? Now around 200 bucks. Okay, that's good. And now that we have kind of more info about the business, give us some history here, Alessio. What year did you launch the company in? Uh, I started in 2014, in the end of the year. Okay. Then we kind of run on private beta. It, it was a kind of terrible version. <laughs> in 2014? <laughs> yeah, in the beginning. Then in, in on April, we released for like... Free signups. April of what year? Uh, 2015. Okay. And and then someone on Product Hunt hunted us, and we got one of the most voted products of the day. Then we started scaling scaling up a lot, 
uh, that's how we got inside 500 <laughs> because we had a lot of traction and and then since we we kept growing so take us now. take us back to that first year in business 2014 do you remember what your first year revenue was uh, my first year revenue was in 2014 yeah oh actually nothing because we've been running on, on free better oh got it okay did you do any revenue in 2015 no, no. Okay, so you, no. so you just turned it revenue on last year in 2016. Yeah, exactly. Actually, we start charging uh, on August, and no, now we have more than uh, on August last year. Yep. Okay, 2016. Yeah. yeah, exactly. And and that's it. And now you have you were gonna say something, and now you have what? And uh, now we have more than 400 paying companies. Okay. Um, and can I take and, 400 paying co companies uh, times an average of, of $200 ARPU to assume you're doing over 80 grand per month? Yeah. That's great. Congratulations. <laughs> Thank you. He's chugging his coffee because he got no sleep last night, right, Alessio? Uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, what I have right now, like we, we've been running on, on, on freemium, some, some companies kept using, but average the, the paid customers that we have right now at, at around this price point. That's great. That's really great. Um, okay, but you're doing over 80 grand per month in revenue and monthly occurring revenue, right? Mm, not yet. Okay, not so, yet. so a sorry. little bit lower than that. Just to be clear, let's be clear. We are like, uh, probably will be around like 50 to 60 to the end of this first quarter. So okay. got it. So at the yeah. end of, you know, in February 2017, you'll do maybe $50,000 per month. And the reason is because your current ARPU of new signups is 200 bucks, but earlier customers are paying a little less than that. Is that right? Yeah, exactly. We kind of offer a special price to make sure that we would keep using. Yep. And what happened, you know, like we had more than 60,000 companies that that have been using the product on, on the free versions. And then we thought like, oh, it's awesome when we start charging just with the numbers of daily engaged active users. We hope that we would have more than $100,000 in MRR. But in the end, when we remove the freemium, uh, just like a small chunk of companies converted, and and on the other side, it was terrible. So you, you were expecting <laughs> you were expecting more of your sixty thousand free users to convert, and only four hundred <laughs> did. Yeah, exactly. And in, uh, do you know what happened? We discovered that small businesses they don't have major processes enough to be painful enough to be willing to pay. That's why so many test management tools are free or they have a hard time trying to monetize. Yep. And in the end, the companies that converted are exactly the huge companies that everyone told us that was too early to try selling them, like GE or Accenture or Visa or Travelers, you know? And in the end of the year, we shift our focus for more kind of enterprise-ish type of customers. Mm -hmm. and, and since then, like for with those companies, we are growing uh, we have like 10% negative churn month over month. So because yes, of expansion we, revenue. Yeah, exactly. And now we're focusing on, 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 on these type of customers. That's great. And have you raised any capital? And if so, how much? Mm, we first went to 500 uh, startups. Then we got a, a kind of quite successful acceleration program. We grew up a lot. And we're able to raise a really good seed round. Round we raised it 2.4 million okay. from really good, really good investors like the founders of Zendesk, 3D Ventures, uh, Redpoint, E Ventures, uh, Valor Capital, and we run two syndicates at Funders Club and at Angelist as well. Okay, so how much total capital have you raised to date? Uh, two point. Almost 2.6. Okay, about 2.6 million. And tell me about your, your team. What's your team size? Now we have here 33 people. And where are you guys based? We have two offices. One in San Francisco. That's our sales team. Where is Matt, the first guy from Zendesk that came now to join Pipefy. And here in Brazil, we keep the developers. How many in Brazil? Uh, 27. 27. Yeah. Okay, so only three yeah. in San Francisco or six. Yeah, yeah, because now we've been we've been so focused on the engineering side, and and now that we discovered that we wouldn't be a self service company, that we discovered that we had to add a lot of human touch to get the deals inside. So 
now we are starting to hire a lot of people. So, and, and what is it? What is it costing you to acquire a new customer? Mm, I can't tell this number. Unfortunately, I'm sorry. Uh, what's a range? Mm, our merger uh, average cost of acquisition is kind of really low yet. Uh, now less than twenty bucks. So but it costs you, it, it costs you less than twenty dollars to get a two hundred dollar per month customer. Oh no! I mean, on lead generation, our overall cost of acquisition is around like nine hundred dollars per company. Got it. But those companies pay you two hundred bucks per month, so you have like what a four month payback period. Yeah, exactly. Three point eight. Yeah, that's great. And how long do they, do they? You know, obviously, part of this is just kind of you guessing. But how long are these companies staying with you on average? Uh, you mean to get a lifetime value? Correct. Kind of. Um, those big customers, <laughs> all of them, they didn't churn yet and so we we can't measure it's hard to tell right with, with, yeah it's hard to tell it's too early yeah uh, most of these companies they a really good example that with accenture they started with four users in six months they got more than 400 users inside the platform and they are even growing a lot so it's it's really hard to predict yet because once the business decision it's more painful and expensive uh, then pay for the the solution. How much does it? How much does it cost when Accenture expands like that? How much do they pay when they add one additional seat? Oh, I can't tell. Wait, I mean, is, that, <laughs> is that is that the two hundred or do you offer per seat pricing? No, no, we charge a per per seat pricing. We have uh, a starter version at seven dollars per user per month and a business version at. Twenty-eight dollars per user per month. So, wh sorry, I don't understand. When I asked you that question about about Accenture, why do you say you, you can't tell me? Because you already have those numbers up on your pricing page, mm -hmm. right? Yeah, yeah. You mean because you know it, it really depends on use case. Because, uh, example, if you are a small team and have a complex need, probably we will sell you like the business version at twenty-eight dollars. But if you are like a ten thousand people company like Accenture and you negotiate like. 2,000 seats with us. So you'll do a deal. You'll, 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 you'll do one-on-one -on -one deals with them. Yeah, exactly. I see. That's why you say you can't say. Yeah, yeah. Got it. Got it. That's helpful to understand. Okay, good. And then what is your, what's your revenue goal? What would be for 2017? What would make you really happy if you hit it? Um, now, probably, uh, our goal is to be around uh, 200K in terms of MRR until yep. the end of the year. So by December 2017, you want to be doing about 200,000 bucks in monthly recurring revenue. Yeah, just over 2 million ARR. Yeah. Because, yeah. you know, it's a really huge funnel to, to raise the seed round. And then you need like to, to get traction and then have a really good product. But then when you look at the Series A rounds, the dynamic is completely different. You need to be performing well. You need to have a really good ACV. You need to show how you are scaling up your sales team. And, and and one of the most basic KPIs is to be over at least 100 KMR if you want to raise a really good Series A, at least with a top tier investor. Yep. And what did you? So you want to hit 200 K in monthly recurring revenue at the end of 2017? What was total revenue in 2016? On, on 2016? Last year. Oh, I'm, yeah. Let's see. I'm sorry. I can't tell. Well, what? Uh, we 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 had just three months to, to get members in, so it's really really low. We can even count on. Oh, got it. So you, you were doing like ten or twenty grand in monthly recurring revenue in December, something like that. Mm -hmm. And then and then the reason I'm asking is I'm curious how you get to the two hundred k goal for this year. Are you assuming like a four x year over year growth or a two x year over year growth or what? Yeah, yeah. The first thing is well, like no, we, those were two uh, separate. Those were two separate. Quite like so. Which one is what? it? Do you assume two k or three x or four x? What do you want to do? So we want to come from the 20K uh, we had in, in the end of the year to 200K. And then how we expect to grow this revenue first is... Well, on, let's see. Uh, that, so that's, you, you want to grow by 10 times, is that right? Yeah, yeah. 10, 10x year over year growth. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And go ahead. Sorry, you were going to say, and, and your plan for growing that is what? Yeah. Uh, first of all, any more people. Second, we are running now dozens of small contracts with huge companies and they are growing a lot. Probably we have a lot of organic growth and we have a partner's channel as well. So that's how we will we'll, we'll hit.
Guys, I get asked all the time, Nathan, you post all these interviews, hundreds of them per month. How do you do them efficiently? And guys, the answer is simple. People always agree to my calendar, back-to-back meetings. I batch my interviews to stay very efficient. And the way that I do it is I use a tool called Acuity Scheduling at NathanLatka.com forward slash schedule. And the reason I use them is very simple. They keep my no-show rate very low because they send out reminders about when the interview or the meeting is coming up. And also, they make it very easy to schedule time, right? I don't have to go back and forth via email 10,000 times with people I'm trying to meet with. Okay, at NathanLatka.com forward slash schedule. It helps me so much. And by the way, look, I like have so many meetings. I'm the best at meetings. Okay, I do them back to back. Very, very efficient. You guys know me. Many people say I'm the most efficient they've ever seen. Okay, so I use the tool. It's so efficient. And by the way, I got Gavin. I said, Gavin, he's the CEO. I said, I want a great deal for my people. He said, Nathan, well, most people get a 14-day trial. Isn't that great? I said, no. He's giving us a 45-day free trial at NathanLatka.com forward slash schedule. That's not going to stay up forever, so go get it now. NathanLatka.com forward slash schedule. Makes good sense, Alessio. Let's wrap up here with the famous five. Are you ready? Number number one, what's your favorite business book? Uh, my favorite business book? Mm, it's really hard. Maybe, you know, like Blink Startup for companies that are starting. I, I think it's the, the best one. Number two, is there a CEO you're following or studying right now? Uh, the guy that I, I follow a lot, it's not a CEO, but a really good SaaS specialist. That's Jason Lakin, definitely. Uh, Jason Lemkin? Yeah. Number three, what's your favorite online tool, like Acuity Scheduling? Mm, bike five. <laughs> Besides yours. Uh, here we, on, on the sales side, we use Yesware. I really recommend. It's really good. Uh, Salesforce, it's essential for sales teams that want to scale up. Like, Nothing like special. The no. same everyone uses. Number four. How many hours of sleep do you get every night? Eight hours. You get eight, eight hours. Well. You get eight hours every night. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Okay. And how? Uh, what's your situation? Married? Single? Do you have kids? I'm single. I'm single. Okay. No kids. No kids. All right. And how old are you? Now I'm thirty. All right. Nice. So take us back ten years. What do you wish your twenty year old self knew? What uh, I would tell him? Yeah. What's the lesson you would tell your twenty year old self? No, totally. Uh, I would tell him to be aggressive on on his own goals uh, because most of the opportunities uh, you need to let yourself uh, to, to get them. And people use it, they people tend to think and then expect their performance or their opportunities based on their current situation and. People must change this mindset to keep focus on their vision, like where I want to be in the next 10 years and what I have to do right now to get there. And, and they need to take decisions based on this vision. If I didn't do that, I would never leave Brazil and, 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 and create the company we're creating right now. And everything I did in the past was based on the vision I wanted for me and I went for the company. And, and that's what I would recommend. There you guys have it from Alessio. Be more aggressive with your own goals. He founded Pipeify back in 2014. Now over 33 team members. They've raised about $2.6 million after going through 500 startups. They have about 400 customers with a current ARPU of about $200 uh, per customer per month. Currently doing about $50,000 a month of recurring revenue with the goal of hitting $200,000 a month of recurring revenue by the end of the year. Again, over 60,000 free users growing really fast with a team up six in San Francisco, 27 in Brazil. Alessio, thank you for taking us to the top. Yeah. If you enjoyed Alessio today, go back and listen to Chris yesterday. His company, Recursion, is an enzyme company, so health technology, that's raised $23 million bucks and it was launched in 2013, now with 40 people and three drugs ready for market. It would mean the world to me if you guys got any value from this episode, if you would go leave a review on iTunes right now and then subscribe. You know, I hustle like heck to get these episodes out every freaking day for you guys. And trust me, I love it. I would do it with no listeners. But boy, oh boy, it makes my day and it makes my team's day when we see great reviews and get your feedback. So thanks so much.
the Top Tribe, I love giving away free money. I feel like Oprah giving away cars, and I have something special for you today. How many of you have heard our super sharp guests talk about success they've had with Facebook and Google Ads? Well, all of you listening right now, yes, if you're listening, you get $100 in free AdWords. Here's how you get it, okay? Again, thanks for listening. Get the free $100 from Google, right, when you sign up with my website host provider, HostGator. Go sign up now to get your free money, HostGator.com forward slash Nathan. Again, that's HostGator.com forward slash Nathan. So guys, I'm so glad to be back in Austin. I just got back from a major tour of Southeast Asia, went to Sydney, Bangkok, Bali, and Japan. And you know, I always get sick when I travel. And this particular trip, my gosh, 15 different airports, 20 different hotels. I mean, imagine flushing in airport bathrooms. I was worried about germs and getting all the nutrition I need. I mean, finding a restaurant in Japan, difficult because nothing's in English. So it's hard enough to figure out the train system. But my point is, I had a guy named Drew Cannoli on the show who said, Nathan, if you're concerned about that, take these little green packets with you. You just mix them once per day with water. They'll keep you super healthy, get all your nutrients, and they'll keep you from getting sick. So I took them, and guys, they worked unbelievably well. I got no sickness, just mixed them with water once per day. They didn't make my water bottles all sticky. That's like nice. A lot of these mixers, they make them sticky. It was very clean and smooth. Took them once per day, never got sick. So they've got 11 superfoods, and they're perfect if you're not traveling, but you're just on the go from your office to work. So you can check them out at NathanLatka.com forward slash juice. That's NathanLatka.com forward slash juice.